tiny, small. It's a terrible situation. New Jersey has a tax problem, and a spending problem, and a debt problem. The Garden State has the highest property taxes in the nation, on average over $8,000. But it didn't happen overnight. We averaged a 7% growth in property taxes per year, every year, for 10 years. Today, we have now had four years of less than 2% annual property tax growth. The press found that the tax cap translates to an increase of $540 million a year every year, and the impact on the middle class is dramatic. Uh, basically, uh, all the taxes I pay out are uh, coming out of the savings account, which will not allow me to, I think, to stay here. I'm going to have to uh, move on to some other place where I can afford to retire and not uh, just pay taxes. In addition to the 2% property tax cap, property owners in Monmouth are seeing dramatic swings up in their property taxes courtesy of the pilot tax program, the Assessment Demonstration Program. Seniors on fixed incomes who thought they would retire here are baffled that property tax costs are driving them out of their homes. What happened? The bottom fell out. And all we get is, well, you know, if you can't afford it, maybe you should think of moving. Our goal is to become true to the Constitution that says, loosely, you pay for what you have based on market value. That's Monmouth County Tax Administrator Matthew Clark who developed the pilot tax program. Were you grossly underpaying in the past? I make no apologies for fixing that problem. That's our job. Towns are calling for a suspension of the pilot program that former tax board member Dan Kelly also helped develop. Kelly is a partner in a company being awarded a majority of the contracts in Monmouth County inspecting homes for the pilot program. So where are these billions of dollars in tax revenue spent? About 52% of property tax revenue, or just over $14 billion, goes toward running 586 school districts for almost a million and a half public school students. The other 48% of your property tax dollars contributes to municipal and county services and salaries. Police salaries in New Jersey, on average, are also the highest in the nation. Our examination of the data found that for the 27,000 strong law enforcement of all ranks, it costs taxpayers $2.6 billion in salaries each year. The average annual salary is over $95,000. The hidden cost of living in New Jersey is also found in how benefits are delivered to public employees. It comes in the form of commissions paid to brokers who put health plans together and negotiate with insurers to provide services to a town, doing away with planned brokers and instead using state-run, low-cost health care plans could save taxpayers $100 million. Adding insult to injury is how insiders work the system. I can't believe some of the things that these politicians in New Jersey do. They have two and three jobs, two and three uh, pensions. In New York, you can't do that. And it's not just politicians doing this. This happens with government workers at all levels because there are no laws in New Jersey preventing it. As the cost of living adds up in New Jersey, it makes it unaffordable for the next generation of home buyers, millennials who are relocating to states that are more affordable. It's rewarding to know that your dollar is going to actually go a long way down here as far as housing um, and that you don't feel like you're putting all of your salary into something that's, you know, a step above living in your car. So what can you do? Make property tax relief the only issue this election. Tell candidates and lawmakers you will vote solely based on their pledge to fix the system before the end of the year. Sign the tax cut petition on change.org, sponsored by Gannett. New Jersey doesn't have a way for citizens to put initiatives or referendums on the ballot, a direct democracy option available in 27 other states. Adding your voice to the petition is the best way to let state leaders know how you feel. Vote on November 3rd. Last year, just a third of registered voters cast ballots in the November election, 
it was a near historic low. The more people who vote, the less power insiders will have. Be prepared to accept part of the pain. For example, school, town, and police consolidation and partial sales tax on some now exempt items to cut your overall taxes. Lower property taxes also means cutting costs and that can't come without some sacrifice. Maybe they should learn to live on a budget. That seems to be the one thing that they don't seem to understand is everybody has to live on a budget except for them apparently.